So hello and welcome to a bitterly cold morning. Today we're going to be fishing the feeder and hopefully getting a few bites. For making videos on the channel you do have to have a bit of planning and for this session today I did have down a feeder session on here already planned. The gear was ready and unfortunately the weather has really turned. A couple of days ago it was 17-18 degrees. Today as you can see on screen we had a harsh overnight frost it's down to three degrees in the town that I live in and out here in the sticks it's down to one degree. The pool behind me is a pool that you have seen once or twice on the channel and normally at first light you see plenty of fish topping. This morning while I've been setting up and doing the video you can see behind the pool looks quite lifeless. So it's not going to be an easy session today and I do think we're going to struggle for bites and just have to take it easy. What we'll do now is we'll take a look at the setup, how we're going to approach the swim, the rigs and hopefully we can get a bite. So that's the ground bait mixed and the pellets done. Uh, I am going to be fishing the method as well today, hopefully to get Mr Carp. So yeah, that can settle while I get the rest of the gear ready and then we'll come back to it. That's the ground bait put through the riddle and as you can see all the lumps have gone nice fine ground bait now the plan today when it was a bit warmer was to put you know quite a bit of bait in um, certainly some of the pellets that we're going to use on the method some pinky and some corn and, and hemp but with it being so cold today I'm going to start off just nice and easy just going to put some of the pinky in mix it in so you've got plenty there and we can put that through the feeder as well and I'm, I was going to put quite a lot of the hemp and corn in but I'm just going to put maybe two handfuls like that for the whole mix to begin with just so there's just a few flecks of that corn and obviously that's the mix that's going to plug the feeder and we can put a few of the maggots in as well but to start with that is the mix we're going to go with just some pinky and the odd fleck of corn you can see there there isn't that much at all and we'll see how we do if we get plenty of bites and the bream move in we can obviously add more but that is the mix we're going to start with so to start with just putting a little bit of the pellet in a few of the pinkies and we're going to start by making a few really quick casts just to get a bit of bait down So I'm lining up with that board in front so it gives me a nice target to aim at and I've clipped up and I'm fishing round about here. I'm sat today on my new S23 chair and as you can see nice and comfortable got the feeder arm and the support and the ripple bar. So looking at the side tray got plenty of red maggot and I have got a plan for them so they'll be coming home with me today and going in the freezer for some dead maggot for the future blog. Got some pinky and he did say it was the last of it. And he wasn't wrong. There's about a pint and a half of pinky there. We've got some pellets. And we've got the ground bait ball. So as you can see there we've made five really quick casts, just put that little bit of bait down and now on this cast here I'm just going to sit and just see what happens, probably give it maybe a five minute cast but for now I'm just going to sit, watch the tip and hopefully it won't be too long until we see some type of activity. So the tip's just gone round and the one thing that you do get with a one ounce tip is a proper bite and it's come on probably the third cast after we put that bait in it's only a small roach but where you can catch one you can catch more and the second fish of the day another little small roach and like I say it's just about building the swim at the start you just gotta hope that the better ones arrive eventually so that was a proper wrap around bite that was really pulled the tip round and it's at the moment very hard to get footage of the tip going round but we'll try it in a bit 
you know, we get the bites a bit more regular. But that didn't half pull the tip round well that one. It's a slightly better one. That's the type of stamp that we were hoping for. That's a nice roach. So the first half decent roach of the day and yeah didn't half pull that tip round and that is why we're using that light tip that one ounce tip the other little indications and any action in the swim and just lets you know what's going on like in the other week you've got to make that offering to the gods i'm pretty sure mr robin won't be far away in fact there he is hopefully brings us a bit of luck well, let's take a quick look at the setup that we've been using today. The rod that I'm using is the Corum all round Quiver. It's an 11 foot rod, 1.25 pound test curve, and I've got that teamed up with one of the phase one reels. And on there, I've got six pound line. Looking at the rig, for those that do a bit of feeder fishing, it is just a running loop. The first thing that I put on the line is one of the mega float stops from Corum. That goes onto the main line. You then tie a loop so the feeder bead sits inside that loop and then tying a couple more loops on the end will just mean that the hook link will sit out like that to reduce tangles but if you are missing bites you can pull that float stop down and change the length of the loop so you get more of a bolt effect and you can push that right down so you get a complete bolt effect as well so it gives you that versatility so it's been quite quiet on the swimming front but staying a bit clipped up just started a new swim directly the same distance but in deeper water to the left just to see if it makes any difference and the tip's gone round within five minutes with another roach so just lining up with that tree that sunk on the far bank did exactly the same as i did at the start five quick casts and then left the sixth one to just sit and that's been the reward and hopefully it's the first of a few bites well we're not setting any records today with the amount of fish caught but on this pool it only takes a second for it to turn around with those lovely bream that are in here and then nice roach but just ticking over now that's probably the second third fish on the new line so it's been a really slow morning which was predicted really with the cold weather been fishing the pinky in the maggot in the ground bait with a bit of success we've had a few of them small roach and the odd skimmer moving into the afternoon just going to add a bit of corn to the mix and sit out maybe for a bigger fish like a bream just take the risk of putting it in so i'm going to move over to a piece of corn and a pinky on the hook on that size 14 hook and i'm going to start putting a little bit more of the hemp through the mix as well we're still with the same size feeder but you can just see there one of the two of the grains of corn in it the odd little bit of pinky as well you can see mr sunshine's come out still continuing with that line there in line with the tree and i was planned on fishing the method feeder further over towards them trees but it's kind of been that slow that you know sticking on this more negative approach seems to be the way dropping in every now and again on that line in front of me just nothing much really happening really it's turned into a lovely day and if you come on the bank right now you wouldn't really know how bad it's been this morning and how cold it's been so that's the best one of the day so far and coming off that second swim just remaining patient and the sun's out a little bit lovely roach so a change over to corn madly enough seen a couple of bites come you'd think you know with not many bites pinky would be the way and just had the feeder really wrap round and missed the bite and just gone back out again and it's gone round again now that one ounce tip doesn't half fly round this is just jagging and so just been putting a bit extra corn through the feeder and just shows just by sticking at it and taking your time and then fish can come 
It does look like a nice fish. There we go, what a lovely fish that is. Being my PB by a few ounces, two pound, four ounces. And just shows, doesn't it, on the quietest of days, you know, change to a bigger bait. You'd last thing you would think to do, really, but yeah. Not coming to the pinky, but coming to corn and proper, proper made up. It just shows how some tough days can be lit up by one fish. Let's get this beautiful fish straight back. So coming towards the end of the session now, and just dropping back over that other line, managed to pick up this little skimmer. And a pound full of skimmer bream, more than welcome. That fish is ice cold. So the session does come to an end there now, and you know, it's been a cold day on the bank, and we knew from the start, with the cold, it was gonna be difficult. In previous vlogs, I have talked about not going too mad with the feeding, and by doing that, it always allows an opportunity for anything to happen. And that is the beauty of fishing. At any moment, one cast, it can all turn around. That beautiful new PB, two pound, four ounces, more than made up. And although the session and the fishing won't live long in the memory, that fish most definitely will. I really do hope you have enjoyed this video and coming along on this adventure. If you are new around here and have enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you could leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. And to you guys that are out this weekend, tight lines in your own fishing, and I'll catch us all next week. Tight lines.